I prototype a lot, which means I have to use breadboards. While powering them might seem straightforward, it's a hassle. While there are adapters, the connectivity on them is just horrible. I need a simple solution for USB-C. So for me, it's important that it has 3.3, 5 volts, a power switch, an LED, no coating, and it needs to be very small. I called it BreadBoost-C or BBC for short. The schematic was pretty straightforward. I had a USB Type-C, a switch, an LED, a linear voltage regulator, and some output ports, which then I just simply carried on to KiCad. And after about a few hours, I had a pretty decent prototype that I was happy with. Then uh, off he goes to JLC PCB, and in about two weeks, I had this bad boy in my hand. Nothing to worry about yet. Uh, I tested it to fit on the breadboard, which fits snugly. I've added jumper caps for voltage selection, which also fitted nicely and then powered up with USB-C. Switch worked. I'm pretty happy with it. It did output 3.3 and 5 volts at the same time. However, it did have a bunch of issues. So the switch broke during shipping. I don't like the linear voltage regulator and the layout is pretty poor. First, I updated the linear voltage regulator for a DC-DC buck converter. And for the layout, I pretty much consulted Reddit. And with the help of the community, I achieved a pretty decent ground return path layout with big enough copper pores to handle one amp, broke out the USB data pins, after a few other minor tweaks, I had this prototype ready, which then had to be shipped off to JLC PCB. And again, in about a week, I had the next prototype in my hands. I'm lazy, so I got it fully assembled. However, I'm super happy the way it turned out. Everything looked amazing. Everything was soldered on nicely. Put on the breadboard, powered it on, and tested the DC-DC regulator. 5 volt was okay. 3.3 as well. Everything is uh, open source with a GitHub link for KiCad files in the description. I noticed a lot of people had issues with the SMD headers on the other side, so I did my absolute best to try to break in it, but I broke the breadboard. First, I tried pulling it with pliers as hard as I could, and I can assure you, out of all the issues that could happen, the SMD headers breaking is probably the last one.